What's good, what's good, and welcome back to Investing with Jax. So we're going to jump into BitTorrent, a little daily update with BitTorrent. We're seeing some life. Um, so I wanted to go over the Twitter. There's, there's some pretty juicy news on the Twitter and jump into the technical analysis for BitTorrent. So we can see here on the one day, we've had a nice 7% climb. And then on the seven day, um, 16%, so not bad, but I'll get into the technical uh, $5.4 billion market cap and a 24 hour volume of 4.39 billion. So let's hop over to the Twitter here. So Justin Sun um, has announced quite a few tweets. So total staking of Tron, BTT, and Win on pancake swap syrup pools exceeded 35 million USD in less than two hours. All right, guys. So um, this could be a reason why we're seeing an increase with the BTT price right now is a lot of people are staking uh, Tron, BTT, and Wink on PancakeSwap. So you can see here, uh, total LP staking of Tron, BNB, BTT, Win on PancakeSwap farms exceeds 10 million USD in less than two hours. Um, and then it says great APR return for Tron, BTT, and Win liquidity mining pairs with BNB on pancake swap right now so that could be a factor uh with what's driving up the price um yeah 20 percent btt pump in 24 hours and btt hits 8.3 billion in market cap so that could definitely be a large factor into why we're seeing this increase with the price so let's hop into the technical analysis for btt um so we're here on the four hour chart guys and I've drawn my Fibonacci up from the peak here. And you can see that we found some major resistance on the golden ratio, 0.618 on the Fib. Resistance, resistance, resistance. I'm going to pop it up onto the one hour. And I believe we're going to roll over. And we're either going to find support here. I'll do a little price on the Fibonacci at a 0 0.0076. Or we'll come down and find support here on the 20 EMA, this yellow line right here. You can see that bullish cross. Um, but it looks like we're having a lot of trouble breaking the golden ratio. So I'll pull it open on the one hour. Yeah, so it's even better to look at here on the one hour. So you can see your 0 0.618, this green line, the golden ratio on the Fibonacci. And we've tried to break through resistance, resistance. And now we're starting to roll over. We are finding support here on the 20 EMA, but it looks like we might be losing it a little bit. Um, to come back and kind of roll over to the 0 0.0076. Um, however, what you could see is, um, let's get my little, we have a bit of a bull flag pattern forming. So if the price consolidates in this area and we see the bulls step up, to knock us out of this bull flag. The key thing is we need to break the golden ratio. We have to break this resistance and turn it into support because you can see we've tried, but the, the bears, the sellers have stepped in to push the price down and it looks like they're continuing to push the price down. So it's very likely that we're gonna just roll over and find support either on the EMAs or come down and use the 0 0.0076 as support here for BitTorrent. So let's pop it open on the one day chart. Actually, I'm just gonna remove my markers here. So it's awesome to see these green candles close above the 20 EMA, that's bullish. Do you wanna see the 20 EMA come back underneath the candles? And if, if we were to break that golden ratio and turn that into support, it would be a very good signal um, that we would go retest our high. It's almost looking like BTT wants to be like, hey man, I'm ready for my next pump. Um, but of course, it depends on Bitcoin recovering uh, because you need the master energy, right? But BTT is looking strong right now. And if we're able to turn that golden ratio about 0 0.0087 for our price target into um, support, and then we could to continue to go back and tackle that high. But as I've said on the one hour chart, I always want to be as real with you guys as I can. We've found some major resistance on the golden ratio we've bounced off resistance 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 and we've rolled over so uh, if we can hold this support and then break through that golden ratio turn into support that would be a beautiful sign that would be a, a indicator that we might see a bit of a reversal here with btt um depending on bitcoin's recovery right i'll quickly open bitcoin 
So it's almost exactly the same here on Bitcoin on the four hour. We're trying to break through the golden ratio. I'll put it onto the one hour for you guys to see. But we're, we're, we're just bouncing off. We keep hitting resistance on the golden ratio. And then the sellers step in. You can see it here. Resistance, resistance, resistance. And if we keep hitting it as resistance and not turning into support, it's a sign that we're going to roll over. And um, have the, the sellers will step in and we'll roll over to find support along um, the EMAs. Possibly on the daily. Let's look at the one day for uh, Bitcoin. Yeah, see how much resistance is hitting along the golden ratio? And so it may roll over again to find support here on the 20 EMA. Um, but that ABC correction is still a possibility for our friend Bitcoin, where we go A, B, C, all the way down to about 43K. Uh, we need a major buying pressure to knock out that high of 64,000. So BTT is looking really, really nice right now. Like I'm loving the chart. It's beautiful to see that breakout with BTT. I mean, we've been waiting for that for ages. Um, but I don't want to like get your hopes up and say, you know, BTT is going to tackle that high. First, you got to you got to turn the golden ratio into support at um, 0 0.0087. But most likely what you're going to see is we're going to roll over and we're going to find support here at 0 0.0076. And then try to go tackle that high once again. Um, because we're starting to roll over as you can see right here and it would be healthy for us to come back to the 20 ema here on the four hour chart but it's beautiful to see that bullish cross you kind of want to see that right like you don't want to see it go like this because then your correction is like you know you want to see you want to see it roll over back test support trend upwards and then roll over and back test support trend upwards this is so ugly and then roll over back test support trend back upwards right and that's what will lead us back to that high but your key level to get back to your high guys is um is there at 0.837 if you turn that into support then that's a signal that we're going back to tackle this high but don't worry guys even if we were to correct further it's normal to have a correction of 60 to 70 percent and if we were to correct further down to that bottom it'd be about 68 percent correction and then what happens is you correct and then you go basically on your next impulsive wave that shoots you up to these price targets up here at about a uh, 0.018 and then you just continue to to trend upwards and then you have those major corrections you trend upwards and you have those major corrections so there's something i want to show you guys so this is dent on the previous bull run in 2018 and you can see here it had its first impulsive wave and then major correction like 60 percent 70 percent and then its next like massive impulsive wave excuse me guys so let's look at i'm just gonna drink some water because <laughs> so this is BitTorrent on this year's bull run so we've had our first impulsive wave and now we had a major correction and now it even looks right here like oh it kind of wants to go on its next impulsive wave here um, but it's possible that we could just roll over and correct. So it had its first impulsive wave and then it corrects. And then it has its next impulsive wave and then it corrects. And you can see it here with Dent. It had its impulsive wave and it corrected. And then it had a huge impulsive wave and it corrected. And then it had a huge impulsive wave. And then it was the end of the bull run. All right, guys. So it, this is the game we play, as we've been saying. So you can see here, impulsive wave. I'll even zoom out a little bit. Impulsive wave, correction and maybe they would be beautiful if we could see our next impulsive wave right here um, but we need the recovery of the master energy bitcoin and ethereum has been doing well so that's a good sign but what we could possibly see is um our corrective wave and then our next impulsive wave to our next price targets up here so we still have much more growth to come with BitTorrent, so not to worry um but it's beautiful to see that little bit of breakout i love to see it i mean i i hope that uh, we were able to turn the golden ratio into support so we could go back up to our high. Uh, but of course, we need our master energy. We need Bitcoin to recover. So that's it. So keep an eye that we we turn the golden ratio, but it does look like uh, we're going to roll over and find support down here at a 0 0.0076. And then maybe the, the we'll roll over, we'll find support, we'll find the EMAs, and we continue to trend upwards. And if we can break through the golden ratio, turn into support, then we're gonna get, continue to trend upwards towards our high here of um, 0 
0.0136. All right, guys. So that's it for this one. That's it for BitTorrent, a little daily update. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. It goes a long way. If you hit that like button, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Check out the Discord. You can sign up to crypto.com as well if you're new to crypto and you're looking to buy crypto. Um, there's a little referral link. All right. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Much love. Mm -hmm.